Good evening, everyone. They're not in the same county, but there's a pretty good rivalry developing between the Gwynn Mental Towners and Superior Central Cougars in boys high school basketball. That's where we're going to start tonight. Let's go to Alger County. It is Justin Senior Hill. Day, so everybody gets thanked. First quarter action off the inbound. Trevor Mackey to Matt Verbrigge, who goes to his left, flips it up and in. 2 nothing Cougars. He had 20. Model Towners playing some tough defense. Owen DeVoe steals the pass. He goes in for the layup as he downshifts the gear a little bit. More tied to Gwynn. A few minutes later, Alex Morse to Justin Nyquist. Off glass and good. 8-7. Black and gold. Cougars get the lead, though, at the end of the first quarter. Nick Mackey to Tyler Kinnitz for three. And it's 15-10. Superior Central after one. Gwynn steps it up in the second. Justin Nyquist will go coast to coast for the layup. He ended up with 20 points. So did Derek Reitz. And Gwynn in double overtime. Defeats Superior Central 88 to 84. In Marquette, the Redmen have already clinched the GNC, taking on Kingsford tonight, and that is Caleb Harrington. Drains a triple shortly after his brother drained one, and we're tied at eight. For Marquette, Andy Nyquist to the hoop. No, flips it up there again, and he puts it in 10-8 Marquette. Now for the Redmen, A.J. Grazulis will block the, I think that was a pass, and Nyquist ahead to Brad Brow, no, but Grazulis hustles and puts it back up and in. He had 17, 12-8 Marquette. Then Dan Harrington to Dalton Allen for the baseline J, or pretty darn close to the baseline, and won 14-11 after the free throw. Marquette still in front. Andy Nyquist will score again off the inbound pass. It looks kind of familiar. You've seen it a million times, except he curled toward the lane. And Marquette, your winner, 71-50 with four players in double figures. Also in GNC action, the Battle of Delta County, Gladstone and Escanaba. And Blake Ballard to Jared Buxton for two. And the Braves are off to a good start. Next for Escanaba, Ben Kleiman. Jamie Hilton in for three. And this appeared to be a theme going on after this point because in the wild first quarter, Jared Hunter will get the pass here and knock down a three. And Gladstone is up by five. We're not done with the triples. Sam Molnar. Yes, that one's good for three. He had 12. Escanaba leads by one. But Hilton was the story of the night. He knocked down six triples, ended up with 23 points, and the Eskimos get revenge on the Braves, 57 to 48. To the scoreboard, where Iron Mountain scored 20 points in the fourth quarter, which was more than what they had done in the first three combined. Menominee won 47-39. West Iron County over Hancock, 52-41. Alex Almquist suffered an injury in the game for the Bulldogs. Calumet over Lakeland and Hubble, 53-47. Dollar Bay and Chassel postponed until February 28th. Jeffers in overtime over Ontonagon, 50-48. Alex Oatenham had 28 for the Jets. Nimrods take care of the Vikings, 45-37. Ironwood easily over Wakefield, Marinisco, 71-31. And Nagani cruises past Norway, 50-21. Back to Alger County, let's go to Munising, where the Mustangs were taking on Manistique. Six minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Gage Webster finds Ben Stasewich for the hoop. He had 18 points and 16 rebounds. Mustangs up nine. More from the senior, Mr. Webster. Drives, spins, stops, and gets it off balance and in. He's been doing pretty well with those off balance shots. He ended up with 26 on the night. Mustangs keep it going as Alex Hill and study the barometric pressure before launching that one. And it's a bigger lead for Munising. Zach Lambert will hit a long three for Manistique, but the Mustangs get the win, 57 to 46. Let's go to Westwood, where the Patriots were taking on the Houghton Gremlins. And action here starts in quarter number two as Luke Duquette to Quinn Leroy, and he puts it in. Next for the orange and black, Cody Goodrow will get the steal, and he will score and get the foul. This was a nip and tuck game all the way. Westwood, another pass that Coach will talk about later. Trent Kettery, the steal and the hoop. But Westwood again, the fast break as Quinn Leroy will take care of business and put it in. Luke Gray, a tip in just before the buzzer. Westwood wins 39-37. Yes, that was the girl score last night with a tip in at the buzzer over Gwynn. Go figure. Back to the numbers. 
Carney Nato, a slight bit of revenge over Forest Park, 63-62. Keenan Lampin in 22 for the Wolves. North Dickinson, 10 better than Rapid River. It was North Central over Barker River Harris, 59-47. Travis Vincent and Trevor Eckberg with double doubles. Mid Peninsula, 33 points for Brett Brandstrom and 16 rebounds. Cousin Chad Brandstrom, 19 points, 74-48, taking care of Republic Michigami. Angadine. Jeff Bomber with a pacing the uh, Eagles tonight, 49-36 over Big Bay to knock. Brimley doubles up detour. It was Cedarville 69, Pickford 56. Rayshon Anderson had 22 for the Sioux, 75-48 over Newberry. Kyle Welty had 20 for the Indians. Also on the scoreboard tonight, it was in the Northern Lights League, Graham St. Ignis, I should say, over Sheboygan, 63-50. Now in the Northern Lights League, it was Graham Moran over Beaver Island, 69-55. Wisconsin Boys Basketball Tournament underway. Niagara wins in Division 5 over Three Lakes. Hurley over Colby. Jack Walker had 20 points for Niagara. Jake Colasacco, 23 for the Midgets. Girls side, Iron Mountain and Gwynn postponed again. Manistique, 45. Big Bay Denac, 34. New and Trout Creek, 44-26, getting past Watersmeet. South Shore easily over Bessemer. Ojibwa Charter edges Munich St. Baptist in the Northern Lights Tournament by one point. Hannaville, 55. Beaver Island, 45. And in the NBA, ugh, Indiana, 114. Detroit, 82. And we will be right back. Earned the seventh seed in the state division three team tournament down in Battle Creek. The bad news, the top three seeds pretty much appear to be equal in quality. Gladstone took on Richmond, better known as the Blue Devils. Looking at the 130 pound match, black and purple is Bobby Boshaw. The one with the red Velcro is Trevor Barrett of Richmond. And Boshaw is going to give up a point, but he's going to hang on to win this match 5 4 at 130 pounds. Unfortunately, Gladstone could not get any pins and they lost by the count of 48 to 15. Meanwhile, Norway in Division 4 in the quarterfinals taking on four-time division state champion Hudson. And no, it did not go well. Even though Taylor Benetti made it real close at 152, he could not hang on to the lead in the last 15 seconds. And John Michael Martinez won the bout for Hudson by the count of 5-3. to three. And Hudson easily won the match 67-5. to five. Jordan Newman a pin at 189 pounds for the Knights. Congratulations to the following high school bowling teams. You have to be in the top three to advance to the state tournament next weekend. The Ishpeming boys and Ishpeming girls did so in Division three. They were down in Sheboygan. St. Ignis took the honors, uh, finished third, I should say, in Division four. So they will move to the state finals. A couple teams came close in Division two. The Escanaba girls, the Iron Mountain boys, also the Westwood girls in Division four finished in fourth place. Hockey. It is the Northern Lights Hockey Tournament this weekend. Uh, Shattuck St. Mary taking on Marquette early on. And yeah, things did not go well for Marquette. They did play pretty good defense in this game, but it would not be enough because they could not get on the scoreboard. Shattuck St. Mary won by the count of three to nothing. Now in the game played this evening, the Electricians again lost, this time to Thunder Bay 5-1. CCHA, hey, Northern played a hockey game today and played all 60 minutes. Wildcats win 5-2 over Bowling Green. Stefan Vijay, two goals and an assist. Jared Coral, 37 saves. Miami edges Lake Superior State 5-4. Dominic Minardo had two goals for the Lakers. Notre Dame and Western play to a tie at three. And Michigan defeats Ohio State 5-3. WCHA, Western, uh, I should say Minnesota over Minnesota Duluth 5-3. St. Cloud State leads Colorado College 2-1 in the third. High school hockey, Matthew Manta, a hat trick for Jeffers, defeating Lons 9-3. And Traverse City Central trailed 4-0, 5-1, and 6-2, and still rallied to beat Sault Ste. Marie 7-6. To the Superior Dome, the Finlandia Lions roar into 2013 with the Superior Dome Tournament taking on Mount Mary. Kristen Rose, third inning, and she's going to unload the bases with this double. She would be thrown out at third base, but with three runs scoring, I don't think she felt too bad. Four, nothing after three. To the fifth, Carrie Jewett. Also looking for the fence and finds it. She will end up with three bases on the triple. And Finlandia had an 8 nothing lead. That was more than enough for pitcher Allison Herman. She struck out nine on the game. And Finlandia won the first game 9 nothing. We also picked up a second victory by the count of 2 nothing. Meanwhile, 
Lake Superior State at the Dome today. Muna sings Amanda Max and the Lakers trying to get past Stevens Point. Second inning, and Sam Radent takes the Alyssa Boucher pitch out of the yard for a solo homer. Stevens Point leads 3-0. Lakers do get some nice leather here as Alyssa Avila will make the great catch to save two runs. And the Lakers would get a home run from Daniel Ravelli, but it would not be enough. Stevens Point went on to win by the count of 9-2-3. And we'll be back to wrap up Friday Night Fever after this. Big Saturday coming up in Upper Peninsula Sports. The NMU basketball team takes on Northwood. It will be senior day for the Wildcats. Technically, they don't have any seniors on the women's team, but the men's team will have a couple. They will be honored before the game at 1 o'clock. Michigan Tech basketball hosting Lake Superior State. There is NCAA cross-country skiing regionals on the Michigan Tech trails, so it'll be fun going back between the SDC and the Tech trails to keep up with all that. Lots of makeup games as well. Enjoy your weekend. Hopefully it won't snow too much. Good night.